all we can say is thank you. As we have sang the first song today, that what can I say but just to give all my life to you? Because that's what you want for us, Lord. To surrender everything to you in your power. Because you created us and you sent your son Jesus and he gave his life for us on the cross. And now we have that great assurance that when we die physically on this earth, we're going to be with you forever in heaven to be comforted. And so God, thank you for everything that you have done in our lives from the start of this year, 2018, until tomorrow, the last day of the year, we know that your faithfulness continues and your mercies are always renewed every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And so, Father in heaven, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and to the power of the Holy Spirit that you will continue to empower us and strengthen us. And as we welcome the new year, we pray that our hearts will be full of enthusiasm and anticipation for the blessings that you are going to pour upon our lives. And we thank you and we give you glory. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please be say thank you to everybody for joining us during our past series. We did this series on Advent through the month of December. And even though the month isn't done, we're kicking off a new one, uh, pretty much starting today, where within conversations with, with other people throughout our church, we realized that one of the important things that we really want to boost in our church is, is prayer. We believe that this is one of the majors that we need to be focusing in. And we know that we're not going to come to a place where we overdo prayer. So that being the case, we decided that starting today and through the beginning of the year, we're going to go through this church-wide movement of boosting prayer within our church. So you're going to see it saturate our messages on a Sunday. It's going to be the conversations we have about in our small groups. So if you're not a part of a small group right now, we encourage you to find out where the closest one is to you. So feel free to ask me and I'll make sure you get plugged in. But we're also going to have this point in the beginning of January, starting on the 7th, I believe. We're going to go through a week of prayer and fasting. So we have a lot of things going on. And like we've said, we, there's a lot of things that we spend our time in. And sadly, this is something that either gets put aside or we forget about altogether. And we know if we're going to be honest, our time with the Lord is something that we shouldn't neglect. So that being the case, we want to help you out. We want to know what we can do to really boost prayer in our lives as individuals and our lives as a church. So look forward to that. Um, other announcements. If, you have, uh, if you're looking for a place to spend New Year's Eve, um, the Palomares family is actually willing to host. 
So if you want more information about that, it's going to be obviously New Year's Eve. It's going to be here in Suffern. If you need their address, feel free to ask them or contact me. It's going to be potluck, I believe. Um, but if not, I look forward to seeing everybody next year. I've been joking around with everybody saying, I'm looking forward to saying see you next year the whole day today. Um, for all the other announcements, we have one special announcement right now. I'm going to call up Sister Beverly. Good morning. Happy New Year. Hey, Scott. Uh, my name is Bebot, and I represent the uh, fellowship ministry. Um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the food groups that did an amazing job for this year. It's not easy to serve 80, sometimes 100 to 135 people every Sunday, but we did it, and praise God for that. Um, amen. Also, there's a new uh, list of food groups in the lobby. If you look at the uh, bulletin board, um, there's four food groups, and it's not too late to join. Um, the names are there. Please confer with your uh, group mates who you're going to elect as the leader for the group. And um, today is the fifth Sunday, and I think I've exhausted the food groups to bring food every time there's fifth Sunday. So today, we are being treated by the Board of Trustees, the elders, the officers. Please thank them. We are gonna have good food downstairs. I had it catered, hopefully it's enough for everyone. And join us later for lunch. If you see them, thank them, and pray for them, that they will always treat us to lunch. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Now we, get, we come to the point of our service where we get to give back just a portion of what rightfully belongs to our God through the giving of our tithes and our offering. So right now, I'm going to ask us to prepare our hearts, but also know that if you're a guest today, that we don't want you to feel pressured to give. It's something that we do within our church's membership, but if you feel like God's putting it in your heart uh, to give today, know that we're going to use it responsibly. We don't do it just to make much of ourselves, but we use it all to make much of the name of Jesus so we could enhance and spread his kingdom here in our local community as well as support churches across the globe. So I'm going to call up the Dolly as we have a special number. And then I'm going to call our ushers up. Before I sing my song, I just want to, the title of my song is He's Still Doing Great Things. And um, I just want to read Psalm 46, 1, 2, and 10. God is a refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Amen. Still 
the challenges life brings. God is still doing great things. He is doing, doing great things. His power has never It's going to be 2019. Yes. And God is still doing great things. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. Awesome. Why don't we all rise and sing the doxology?
Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all that you've given us. And we thank you for giving us the chance uh, to reflect this sacrifice.